going on guys we got the gtr up on the lift today i'm going to start on uh disassembling everything for the transmission to come out got a new clutch so we're going to go ahead and try and bang this out um definitely not going to finish it today but uh if i could get at least close to pulling the trans out i'd be pretty happy so i guess let's see what we got to do and uh go from there down here looks like we got to pull Damn, we gotta pull this whole exhaust. Looks like they uh, welded all the flanges, so that kind of sucks. So we'll pull the front pipe, which is part of the whole mid pipe to here. I do have a clunk in the rear. That's what that is, okay. That's kind of annoying, but anyway, so we gotta pull this exhaust down. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. And then um, I'll go ahead and start draining the probably the transfer case the trans start unhooking the sleeve get the prop shaft out of here and i uh, just slowly pick away at it all right a quick update so far we get the uh drive shaft out front prop shaft exhaust gotta say that starter not a fun job um this is what i did so for anybody that's going to be doing this on a lift you drop the trans down and you can actually get a uh quarter inch ratchet with a 14 on there uh deep socket and you can just barely get enough room to break it free uh the top bolt that is and uh kind of just like ease it out but not a not a fun time but we got her out and uh next up i'm gonna go ahead and pull this cross member from the mount right here and then i'm gonna start unbolting the uh, bell housing bolts and uh uh we also did unplug the the harness and drape it over here so that's all set the uh uh cable speedometer cables out um yeah making progress slowly but surely and uh hopefully we'll have her out in the next hour or two Alrighty, so nice. just got all the bell housing bolts out as you can see it's already starting to split uh kind of sketchy i'm gonna go ahead and throw a bolt in the bottom right now and then uh jack this back up throw the uh cross member on and uh drop the car all the way down and use a jack on the floor to pull the trans out which is going to be pretty sketchy but you know it is what it is smoked and this was making some noise so it's a good thing we uh you know dropped trans coming up here it is a spec clutch um gotta say it doesn't really look that old the fingers really don't have much wear on them the clutch looks the clutch disc itself looks pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and take this clutch off and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how bad it looks. Got the uh, clutch off, everything looks pretty good. Rear main seal is definitely leaking. Um, so we, we did get a new one of those. Gotta go ahead and replace that. Clutch is definitely looking a bit uh, worn. It's got some glazing on it, you can see. The disc definitely has some life left in it, but it was uh, near in its end. It's got some gouges in it. The uh, pressure plate definitely has some hot spots. The flywheel is a spec flywheel, which is nice. Um, but uh, it, it definitely needs to be uh, resurfaced, which I'm going to have done tomorrow. And hopefully this week we can go ahead and throw the trans back in. Um, definitely a bit of a pain in the ass with the floor jacks, but we got it done. Definitely have to uh, invest in a trans jack sometime soon. But I'm going to go ahead drop this thing down quick compare the clutch and uh pretty much call it for today just compare the brand new clutch looks to be correct we got a oem nismo pilot bearing it's like the needle bearing instead of the uh, regular like brass bushing um we also got a brand new oem um throw up bearing the thing like the collar that the throw up bearing sits on so everything's going to be nice and new 
Um, this clutch, let's take a closer look at the clutch. This clutch actually isn't too, too worn. Um, but unfortunately, I think the fact that the rear, rear main seal is leaking, it kind of basically ruined the clutch. It soaked it with oil. You can touch it. You can mark it. You can kind of see what I just did there. It's basically soaked. It's glazed. There's no, there's no going back, unfortunately. But the flywheel is still good. We're going to get that resurfaced. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. And yeah, pretty much it. She's going to come back better and stronger. And hopefully we can make some sick power. Conclude today's video, though. I know it wasn't very exciting, but we are making some progress on the GTR. Um, I've been kind of dreading doing this, to be honest, just because I don't really have too much time. And when I do have time, it's kind of focused on other things like a side job or, you know, getting my other projects going. But uh, spring's right around the corner, so I really want to drive this thing and make some real power and have some fun. So we'll see how that works out. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.